Hello Taurus and welcome to my channel. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your love reading for the 25th through the 31st. Spirit and Angels, what messages do you have for our Taurus friends from May 25th through the 31st? Okay. So you're you're holding back. You're refusing to move on, move forward um, from something that you've emotionally invested in. Um, it's really hard for you to let go. Very hard. Um, this could be a commitment ending, a contract with the Queen of Swords in reverse. You're trying to keep that from happening. And you almost feel trapped. You feel trapped in your situation because of financial issues. Um, you feel like you were left out in the cold. You feel like your partner um, intentionally uh, hurt you. Yeah, you're not letting go for, for some reason. Um, yeah, you're not letting go of uh, this person because you feel that they're your soulmate. You, they you feel like you guys were meant to be together um, and you're just holding on tight to that the person that you're connecting to um, you have the king and the queen here um, this could possibly be your soulmate um, but as we know not all soulmates are meant to stay in our life forever um, I feel you guys will be uh, you guys will be connected to each other I feel you guys have children. Um, that could be also why you feel trapped and stuck by the situation because um, financially you don't feel like you can provide for them. But they're coming at this from a very cold uh, approach. They, Their emotions have drained. Um, they're not listening to their heart anymore. They're listening to their head. Uh, and honestly, they're ready to walk away. Uh, you also have the King of Wands here, so, uh, you know, there there could be a lack of passion that's shared between the two of you. Uh, could be a fire sign male, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, somewhere in their chart. Um, but what they're offering you, it just isn't enough. With the Page of Cups here and the upright under the Five of Pentacles, they're offering you something, but it's just not enough for you anymore, or vice versa. You do have the world card on the bottom of the deck, which means that this um, this chapter, this phase in your life is meant to come to a close now. It's meant to um, end, and you're meant to have a new beginning, and it's a gift from the universe. That's going to cause celebration, and you're being guided in this path, in this direction. So... Um, yeah, that's pretty cut and dry. This next week is going to be um, a challenge for you guys. Um, a challenge to let go. Look at that. The Queen of Wands in the upright with the King of Wands in the reverse. And the Queen of Swords in the reverse with the King of Swords in the upright. That's, that's crazy. Yep. Big things are happening this week, guys. Um... There's a tower moment going to happen. Could be dealing with a Virgo uh, or a Cancer Pisces. Okay. You're feeling very um, unsuccessful at whatever it is that you're trying to manifest. Uh, the Nine of Cups with the Eight of Cups. You're refusing to walk away because you feel this is the person that you want. This is every, everything that you um, had hoped for, had prayed for, and so it's very hard for you to walk away, even though it's not um, emotionally satisfying right now. Um, you could be refusing to let this relationship go uh, because you're not wanting to um, for this relationship to end. You're not wanting for this marriage to end in divorce. Um, there could be another fire sign female involved with this um, situation that has you feeling like your world's uh, flipped upside down. 
the Eight of Swords is being clarified by the Nine of uh, Wands. So you're feeling very defensive. You feel very, this whole situation has left you battered and broken. And uh, it's just making you feel like you're trapped. You felt, you felt betrayed. You felt left out in the cold. You feel like financially you can't make it. Um, there's going to be a shakeup this week. Something within your stability, your finances, or your relationship with your partner. <clears throat> so uh, it's just time. You're not um, you're not looking at things from a bigger picture. Spirit is wanting you to take a step back. Look at everything. Look at all the facts. Look at everything that's come out about this person in your life. Um, you're refusing to look at the obvious. You're refusing to look at what's right in front of you because this person is keeping secrets. But this person is going to come forward with the truth and tell you everything. They're going to tell you how they feel, their emotions, how, what they really want, what they want, if they want to continue on with this marriage or not. Um, this could very possibly be a Virgo, like I said. But um, this person has taken the time to go spiritually within um, to look within what it is that he really wants I say he because it's a king but it could be uh, vice versa because this is general but uh, his whole world has been shaken as well but he's being spiritually awakened and uh, yeah the the love offer that's being made is not um, is not given with his heart um and i say that because of the nine or the seven of cups be careful of manipulation um they may be telling you one thing but they want another and this is right under the tower and the five of pentacles so um and you, you're going to be left feeling like it's you against the world uh, a lot of confusion this also means choices so you have um other options to to um, explore, but you're but you're not seeing them. You're not seeing them because you're feeling like you just feel like yeah, you're upside down. You know, yeah. This this situation involves a marriage. Like I said, it's a spouse. It's somebody that um, is wanting to leave the marriage, it, whether that be you or the person that you're married to. What else do you have for me? stack because it fell out after forgiving and learning and religious factors as you release and heal from the past you experience more love in your present moments so um, this person has betrayed you in the past or you them and it's time to forgive and learn your karmic lessons from this person or just learn learn what you are meant to learn from this relationship because um, there has been hurt in the past religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path now, I don't um, see this as a difference in religion, more so as one's being more spiritually awakened quicker than the other, and um, either you or them are ascending to a higher uh, religious or a higher um, spiritual level, and um, and it's just not it's not meant to be. It's not divinely guided for you to be in this relationship any longer. Um, from from this situation now this will not um this will not include everybody obviously because it's a general but for those of you who this does fit it's time to move forward it's time to move on and allow this relationship to take its course and let the new cha the next chapter of your life begin because you have big things coming for you but you have to let this chapter end you have to let this person go because um it's no longer serving your highest good. It's no longer making you happy. You're emotionally drained. You're sad. You're depressed. You feel betrayed, broken. Um, it's time to let all that energy go and to move into something that you're that you're meant for. A relationship that um, that is divinely guided into the path that you're meant to take. So, kind of a rough week for these this group of Taurus, but um, it's gonna get better. You gotta you gotta have faith and um, let faith lead your way. So 
that's all I have for you guys this week, Taurus. I hope you guys have a beautiful week, and I will see you in June. God bless.